thank you so much for joining me this evening and my name is Jenny Allen and to find out more about me you can go to my Periscope profile and find out uh, a lot more about me there on my website and my blogs and my life coaching business and everything so you can go there and find out more I just want to continue the um, the thought that I've been having this week about praying for our children, praying for the children that you have in your life, your niece, your nephews, uh, your grandchildren, maybe even your own children to keep praying for them. And I, the topic of this scope is you, you have to believe that your prayers are going to be prosperous in the life of your children, that your prayers are going to take effect. You have to have confidence in the word of God as you pray them over your children, because uh, the Bible shares with us that we should be confident in what we do for God. OK, that we should not lose heart, that our, that we shouldn't allow our confidence to be at rock bottom. Basically, I'm just paraphrasing and putting it in my own words. We have to have confidence in our own prayers because our prayers are based on God's word when it comes to our children. So I just want to encourage you today from Isaiah 55 verse 11. And I'm going to read it in the Amplified Bible, which is my favorite Bible. I'm just going to read it. And it's Isaiah 55, 11 in the Amplified Version. And it says, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void without producing any effect. But it shall accomplish that which I please and purpose. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. We have to believe that when we pray the word of God over the lives of our children, that that word will prosper in the life of our children, that that word will bless them and bless the work of their hands and all their endeavors in life. We have to believe that and we have to pray that. And there's another scripture um, that says, I'm going to read it in the Young's Literal Translation, that says, um, this same as I, 55, 11, and it says, So is my word that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not back unto me empty, but hath done that which I desire, and prosperously effected that for which I sent it. We have to believe that when we pray for our children, that the word of God over, over them is going to be effective and prosperous as we pray it into their lives. Colossians 1 6 talks about the word of God having its own inherent power to produce in the life of our children and even in our own lives as parents. Because being a parent is, is not an easy job. Being a parent is not an easy job to do. And we have to build our own faith as parents to believe that when we pray, that the word of God will be prosperous in their lives. Colossians 1, 6, that the word of God has its own inherent power to produce. We don't have to manipulate the word in any which way in order for the word to work. It's like a seed. In the New Testament, um, it describes the word of God as a seed. And when we put seeds in the ground, when the farmer puts seeds in the ground, you know, he doesn't have to go there and manipulate the seed. He doesn't have to do that. All he does is put that seed in the ground and leave it. His responsibility is to water that seed and make sure that there's really good fertilizer around there and sit back and allow the seed to do the work. If the farmer keeps interfering with the seed and the ability of that seed to take root and to be able to grow, he's gonna stunt the growth of the plant or the crop that he's trying to produce. And it is the same way with our children. It is the same way with the works of our hands. It is the same way with everything in life. Once God gives us a word, and we pray that word of, over that situation or over the lives of our children. 
it is our responsibility to water that seed with prayer and worship and any other instructions that God gives us to do. Because if we keep trying to manipulate our children to behave the way that we want them to behave, we could, in fact, destroy that seed of God's word in their heart. So that is my encouragement to you today. And that is also for anybody on here who is a parent, who is struggling with parenthood, who may be a single parent. You might be a single mother raising your children or you may be a single father uh, raising your, your children by yourself. You have no support. And also I want to extend this to fathers who are who have to pay child support and they're not having the chance to see their children um, and there's a lot of struggles in the courts with children so these fathers who have not seen their children for so long and they, they're going through the court system and it's tearing them to pieces I just want to encourage you today that the word of God over your situation, that the word of God over your relationship with your child, it will not return onto you void. It is not going to be uh, the seed that you're praying for this situation. It is not going to be wasted. Um, the, the, the Bible does say that the years that the locust and the canker worm has eaten, that those years are going to be restored onto you and that is a promise of God's word maybe you haven't seen your child for a few years and you're it's really painful for you and I just want to encourage you today to do not give up on your children do not give up on God's word don't lose your confidence in the abilities of God's word to be able to produce fruit in your life and to bring the harvest of what you need in the lives of your children or your family. So I just want to encourage you and leave you with that word. Stand strong on what the Lord has told you. Don't give up in prayer. Don't give up in seeking God. Don't give up on the physical things that you have to do. Because God's word concerning your life and the life of your children will not return to you void. So don't give up on them and you don't give up on yourself and who you are. OK, so I pray that that word was encouraging to you today. And the scriptures I used were Isaiah 55, 11 and Colossians 1 verse 6. The word concerning you and your children will not return empty. Just continue to pray and cover them in prayer and watch the word of God bring forth your desired harvest in their lives. OK, so thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate that. So thank you once again and have a fantastic evening. OK, bye. Yeah.